I like to use sheet metal roofing because it's easy to apply, it doesn't require sheeting and it lasts a very long time. Manufacturers these days recommend putting the screws into the flat parts of the sheets, but I like to put them on top of the ribs like people used to do because you run into much less problems with leakage that way. For the back of the roof, I'm bending the edge of the sheet metal down to cover the ends of the purlins. I'm using a couple of 2x4s clamped together as an improvised bending brake. It works surprisingly well. And now with the sheet metal bent, I know how long the purlins need to be for them to fit exact. With the back of the shed quite a ways off the ground, it's much easier to work from the top than from the end. I still need a ridge cap to cover the top of the roof, but they were charging way too much for that, so I'll make my own. I'll start by cutting a strip out of a roof panel, which I can do by just scoring it with a utility knife and then bending it until it breaks. It can take an awful lot of bending back and forth if you don't score it deep enough. This would work okay as it is, but I'm going to notch it around the ribs here just to avoid that gap so bugs won't get into it. I'm using lefty and righty tin snips so that the notch I'm cutting out will get pushed up from either side. Well, that turned out okay, but if time is money, making your own ridge cap isn't the best idea. I'm insulating this shed because that way I'm much less likely to run into condensation issues in terms of storing stuff, but more likely the kids will enjoy it more because it'll be warmer in there for playing in there in the winter. I've got no soffits on the roof line, which means I have to fit the sheet metal around these bits here, and especially this corner. This is where it gets complicated, resulting in a part that looks like this, which is clever, but not wise, because it takes forever to make. And again, using my improvised sheet metal brake to bend the sheet metal to fit around the back corner of the shed. For the next corner, I got much less fancy with the fit, but that resulted in a spot underneath the eaves that isn't covered by metal, so I made a piece of sheet metal to go behind it, just for cosmetic reasons. I deliberately ordered not enough sheet metal because I had three used sheets that I was going to use to cover the back, but it turns out with the extra cover sheet and what was left over from making the ridge cap, and having one spare sheet, I just barely had enough to cover the back with a sheet metal of that style. The dark sheet in there is the cover sheet. That's the sheet that they add just so that the uh, sheets that you're paying for don't get scuffed up. And now there's just one more piece to add. And I've got uh, one sheet left over this one. I'll use that one to clad the door with. And I didn't use a lot of screws on the walls for now because I still want to put a window here or maybe here. But uh, first I have to find that and make it. And for now I just want it to be closed off so it doesn't rain in there.